Do you stream on Twitch and want to be able to show your audience what track you're playing live on Spotify? Well, hang about. I've got three different methods to achieve this. G'day, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. Today's tutorial is an idea that I got from a good friend of mine, RBT Husky, who is also a fellow Twitch streamer. He got sick of people constantly asking him what song this is he's playing and he'd either have to switch his focus away from the game that he's playing to think about who it's by and what song it is or have to alt tab out a game and have a look at his Spotify playlist. So instead, I'm going to show you three different methods to be able to put that information into an overlay on your stream so that people can just see it live within the window. Now, before you say hold the phone, Malice, all music on Spotify is copyrighted. That's going to get me a copyright strike or a DMCA takedown. Relax. I've got a couple of videos that show you how to overcome this. I'm going to put a link up the top here and also down in the description below. Let's get started. First method is probably the most basic, the first that comes to mind, and that is simply just to add a source being a window capture. We'll call this one Spotify track. Okay, okay, and there we go. There's our Spotify window holding down Alt. We can now scale that window down so that we're left with the album cover and track. Now we can go one step further and we can go and scale that down so that it is just the track name and artist. We'll go and add a second one being window capture. We'll call this one Spotify album. Click OK again and we will do the same thing. Holding down Alt, we can scale that window down to just our album art and we'll make that a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on. We'll bring that up so that we no longer see the track title and artist. Bring that across so that we are just seeing that album cover. Now we can go and pop those next to each other. We'll create a group, keep things nice and neat and organized because as you know, these source lists can get out of control once you start adding a lot of stuff to it. Now that will keep them together as a nice, neat little combination. The second method is probably my favorite, which is an application called Snip. It's available free through GitHub. I'll put a link in the description below. All you want to do is go ahead and click on the latest version, which is a zip file. I say this very carefully because the amount of people that have commented on previous videos saying, how do I open up this file? I can't open it. It's just a text document with random characters. Don't open it in Notepad. Install something like WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, anything along those lines so that you can open up a zip file. I wouldn't have thought I'd have to go into that much detail on how to open a zip file, but apparently I do. Go ahead and grab that folder, snip and drag it somewhere onto your computer. I suggest not on your desktop. Desktop is good for temporary installations, not for something permanent. So if you haven't already, create a Twitch folder somewhere on one of your hard drives and go and drop this folder in there. Now we've done that, we can go and run snip.exe, which will take you to a web page asking you to log in with your Spotify details. Now I've already done this, so I can't show you this step, but essentially you just need to put your username and password, log in and authorize. Don't worry, it is safe to do. Now we can see that we have snip running, it's down in our taskbar. NIP doesn't automatically start every time your computer starts, which is something I like. Right click on it and we want to make sure that this box here saying save album artwork is ticked. Now only tick that if you want to have the album artwork actually show up in your overlay. The only other thing you can do is go into set output format and at the start of set track format, add a few spaces in there and also at the end of set artist format. That's just going to add us a little bit of padding to make our text look a little bit nicer when we add it into our stream. Now we're ready to start adding these sources into OBS. So to do this, we can do this very easily just by grabbing this snip.txt and dropping it straight into OBS. We can do the same thing with our snip artwork, grab that and drop that straight into OBS. Now nothing's going to happen if you haven't got anything playing on Spotify. Now this should populate. There we go. We can see the album art and we can see the text. So I'm just going to highlight the two of those. Uh, actually, let's go and add a group. Now we can move the two of those together. We can scale it to suit. Now I did say before about the formatting just to help with padding. So if we were to grab those and let's put that text over where there's some bright stuff on the screen, we can right click on our snip.txt. Let's go to properties. 
If we scroll down in here to our background color, leave it as black and let's pop that opacity up to about 60%. Now that's put some nice padding around the outside of that and it helps our font stand out on the brighter backgrounds. You can obviously set that opacity a little bit higher if you want. And if you want to make this look a little bit neater, you can go and add clipping masks to go and round those corners off. The third method is a little bit more involved to get set up, but does have a much cleaner appearance. It's got a very nice aesthetic. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to last.fm and create a free account. Once you've created and verified your account, you're going to click over on your profile. We're going to click on settings. From settings, we're going to click on applications. From applications, we're going to click connect next to Spotify scrobbling. It's going to log in using your Spotify details. For me, I've already done this. Once you've done that, you can go over to pixelchat.tv. Create an account there if you haven't already got one. These guys have a heap of different scenes and overlays and things you can add into your stream. Uh, there's some really interactive things you can play around with on this website. But for now, we're going to click on overlays. We're going to click on create new overlay. We're going to click on now playing. We're going to click on edit. You can give it a name and a title if you want. That's just going to help you identify this overlay in amongst the thousands of the others that you're going to create over the time. Uh, we're going to scroll all the way down the bottom and we're going to put our last FM username. Once you've done that, we've got length of time for the pop-up. Let's go and add that as eight seconds. You can make it stay open all the time if you want. You can have it only trigger on command, not on song change, or you can leave those two off and it will automatically pop up whenever a new song starts playing in Spotify. You can set a command so that users can make this come up at any point to be able to see what song it is in case they missed it when the song started. You can go and change all the regular stuff around uh, your style for your text, uh, your background, your opacity. Uh, you can put rounded corners or sharp corners. It's up to you. And then you've got three different themes. So if I go and click on this button here at the top, it's going to bring up large. If we go and click on small and minimal. Choose the one that's going to be right for you. And you can basically just go and copy and paste that link from the top bar. Add source, browser, create new, Spotify, pixel chats. Go and paste that source address into the URL. Click OK. And if we bring up our chat and we go and put exclamation mark song, there we go. We can see the name of the track. It's going to sit there for eight seconds as we set, and then it's going to go and tuck away. Well, that is the three methods to be able to show what track you're playing on Spotify within your stream. Let me know which one you prefer, which one it is you use, and if you've got any other methods. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.